I was recently given this 2000 McGann Scenic by a friend to have a look at. It's running in three cylinders and I believe it to be the coil packs. Always a big problem in 16 valve Renault engines. I'll start up and let you hear it runs. Fighting all over the place. Eighty five thousand two hundred thirty five original miles. So I've bought four new coil packs for it. Thirty five pounds is for the four. Off of eBay, so today we're going to fit these. I'll show you how to do that the correct way. Let's see if it runs any better. Very pro problematic on 16 valve Renault engines, as I said earlier. Once you change the factory ones, you're usually okay for a long time, but the, the original factory ones, which are made by Sagem, I think, Sagem, were shit to be honest. So. Okay, well, let's get to it. Okay, that's just got the tripod set up now. Good to go. First thing we're going to do is, is push down the tab that holds the, the connecting wire onto the coil pack. Like that. Then simply pull it out. Come with a washer, and the washer will be loose when you take out the box. So make sure the washer's pushed right up against the. Uh, there's a wee ledge there that sits in. Pretty obvious. Okay. Throw your new coil down the front plug hole. And reconnect the, the connecting wire. Make sure it's pushed in as far as it will go, it's nice and tight. Now, I forgot to mention earlier on, there's a Torx T30 bolt that holds it in. It's holds it in, sorry. And uh, you have to move that first, and it's just down here, next to it. I've already moved it just to make it a bit easier. And obviously, once you've refitted it, you have to tighten that bolt back up again, nice and tight. Not too tight though, because it means if you have to change them again, you won't be getting it off in a hurry. The same procedures, no difference at all. Usually, uh, it is the one that goes, but you're always better replacing the four at the one time because when one goes, it usually means one's going to go shortly after it. So, I've changed the other three. I forgot to mention it earlier the only tools you need for this job is a Torx T30 just to remove the coils uh, from the engine, obviously. So. All you need to do, a very straightforward job, you know, cure a lot of problems, slow performance, one pay running, most of these signs put down the coils. Well, half an hour later and job done. It's running like new now.
All right. Shut her down. Another good job well done.